taking a fish out of water. It's an expression that describes something that literally shouldn't work. But for some scientists, it apparently has. This is the Senegal Bashir, and it's walking. Researchers took the fish from a young age and forced them to live on land for eight months, in conditions that were humid enough that they could survive. The study found the fish, which were previously known to move on land only incidentally, could adapt to walking on land. Basically, what the study wanted to look at was how tetrapods, four-legged creatures, first pulled themselves out of the water and made that Little Mermaid switch from aquatic animals to terrestrial ones. Look at you! There's something different! No, She's no, no. got legs, you idiot! There are well-documented cases of fish, like the mudskipper walking on land and even climbing trees. But unlike the mudskipper, the Bashir has lungs, and crucially, as the study found, their movement on land is much closer to that of the earliest tetrapods. Now, that's due to a number of factors, including the positioning of their fins on their body. But one of the really interesting things the study charted was how the fish's bodies adapted to life on land. Scientists looked at the clavicle and a couple other bones that linked the Bashir's head to its body. They found the clavicle and one of the other bones changed significantly in the land-walking fish, adapting to accommodate its new motions. Those findings show the fish's anatomical plasticity, its ability to change and adapt its body, a trait that would have been crucial for the first fish to walk on land. The study also raised some more profound philosophical questions, like if a fish could walk, would it still be a fish? Well, the scientists who conducted the study don't really have an answer for that particular question yet. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.